now you can begin. I've lived here in the UAE for 13 years now um, and I've always said if I have to leave Sustainable City I will leave the UAE because I don't think I want to live in any other community. <laughs> Meet Adrian Doolin, the CEO of a sustainable cleaning service company in the UAE. She was kind enough to invite us to her home in Dubai. What kind of Dubai? Not the downtown you might know from the pictures. She lives about a 20 minute drive from there in a self-sustainable community called Sustainable City. We were interested in finding out what it's like living in such a community. What are the main benefits and challenges? But more on that a bit later. Today, you're joining us here at Sustainable City in Dubai. We at Company Skaza are helping to develop sustainable communities all around the world by presenting solutions for one of the society's biggest problems. What to do with our waste. Our society produces a lot of waste. Our addiction to plastic is catastrophic. No one we know is particularly fond of taking out the garbage. It's become a problem of global proportions. According to the World Bank, around 2 billion tons of waste is produced every year. From a financial perspective, mismanaged waste is expensive. For communities, this means the cost of waste gathering, transport, handling, sorting, and more. On the other hand, the right way of managing waste lowers the cost of transport and handling, but most importantly, waste becomes a new resource. People often don't realize that bio-waste makes up 34% of all municipal waste, or that 57% of bio-waste is not even recycled in the first place. How to properly treat bio-waste will be the focus of our story. The best place to start making a difference is right in our own home. So, what exactly is our role at Responsible Bio-Waste Management? We're developing solutions, products, and services for food leftovers and organic waste to become a resource. Here at Sustainable City, we're going to show you an example. Sustainable City is basically an example of how modern cities in the future will have to look like. It's a net zero energy community modeled to become an international showcase for high quality, sustainable living. There are 3,000 people living in 500 villas in 89 apartments. So the sustainable city is very much about what we say closing the loop. We want to demonstrate that by living locally, you have access to local resources. My name is Karim al Jasser. I'm the Chief Sustainability Officer for Diamond Developers here in the sustainable city. Living locally applies to energy, you know, producing our own energy from rooftop solar panels. It is about uh, wastewater treatment and reuse. It's about indoor vertical farming and urban farming so that we can contribute towards food security. And it's also about reusing uh, different waste streams from recyclables to organics to electronic waste so that we can extract uh, value from our waste and then thereby close the loop and reduce dependency on raw material. As you see, Sustainable City is the perfect place to implement Skaza's solutions to the organic waste problem. Bokashi Organco Composters. And here's where Adrian comes back to our story. She's been personally using Skaza's composter for about five months now. As a user and as an expert on sustainability, she shared with us her prolific insight into what using it is really like. The one thing I think is really easy about it, actually, because I've done composting before um, and I've had worms crawling around the kitchen and whatever, so it, it, it wasn't ideal. But with the Bokashi, no smells, no flies, absolutely nothing. Um, so, so it makes it super easy. Um, and I'm always recommending it to people um, to, to, to go that way um, because it's convenient. And I think that's, uh, that's the big plus about it. Plus you're helping the environment, so. Bokashi is a certain type of composting. It's another word for the fermentation process that happens in Bokashi composters with the help of effective microorganisms. What is the benefit <laughs> of using Bokashi Organco compared to a normal bucket where you put bio waste in? So like you said, no smell, no odor. Yeah, I mean, a recent example, which is quite gross, but a friend of mine, he's just throwing all his compost into like a makeshift sort of bin and he turns it, in his garden he has it, and he turns it sort of regularly. Um, recently he opened it and he threw it out onto the grass and it was just full of cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to him, you need to take the Bokashi bins, it's way easier. 
As you heard Adrian, the Bokashi method is way more efficient and user-friendly than other ways of composting. And here's why. The volume of bio-waste is reduced by 25%. There's no unpleasant smell, no insects, and most importantly, no inconveniences. Let's move to Adrian's kitchen to actually see Bokashi Organco composters in action. Um, okay, let's go now. We've already uh, been talking about uh, our Organco uh, Bokashi. Let's show how to use it now, step by step, really easy. And um, this is our daily. Here's my, my vegetables, here's my uh, Bokashi. I'm gonna show you now exactly what I'm doing on a daily basis. Any of my waste, popping it in here, really easy. Now this is not how I normally prepare my vegetables. I'm usually a little bit better than this, but just to give you an example for today, we're gonna put all of our waste into the daily. Let's just give you this. Right, so let's say you've finished on the end of your day and um, this is great because you can store everything in it from, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything you want to put into it. And then we're going to start and we're going to use the, the Organco. This is a lovely unit. I don't usually have it sitting here, but I do actually have it on my uh, display counter because I actually like it. I think it looks really snazzy. Just get this up, pop the waste inside. As I told you earlier, this is absolutely for dummies. Super easy to clean the daily because it's just rounded soft surface inside so it's really easy to clean so that, remember that one. Got my waste inside here. I'm going to get my uh, fermenting bran. This is what they call like a, an anaerobic type of fermenting, a little bit different from composting. So I'm going to get my bran, usually, you know, perfectly measured out and I'm going to sprinkle this now on top of the waste. Uh, lovely smell, especially as we mentioned earlier for the dogs. This I'm going to push down now because we want to get any air out of it and we're going to leave it so really easy. You hear the air popping out of it. I'm pushing it down as much as I can. No need to use your feet on it because this is a really good presser. Lid on, done. So you can leave this one for a few weeks. You'll usually have two in the house so that you can, when this is full, you leave it for a couple of weeks before you're going to utilize it in your soil. Wonderful little tip here. You get this brilliant Bokashi tea. So all you have to do is put a jar or a collection jar, whatever you're gonna use underneath it, a bottle, open it, open the tap. It opens really super easy. The liquid will come out and you can use this, dilute the liquid, be careful to make sure you dilute it and use it for watering of the, the plants in the garden and it's absolutely fantastic fertilizer. Super easy, saving the environment, getting rid of all your food waste, stopping all the, the this food waste going into landfill, methane, CO2s, excellent job. Okay, done. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yep, simple as that, doing it like a pro. Adrian also explained to us that over the past year, a startup called The Waste Lab was founded in Dubai. Uh, I am Jaylan. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Waste Lab. And uh, we are basically rescuing food scraps. Jaylan's company has launched a pilot project in Sustainable City, offering door-to-door bio-waste collection and processing it into compost for reuse. We are trying not to call waste because for us they are treasure. Uh, we are uh, repurposing and composting uh, food scraps that's coming from our kitchens. If you don't have space, if you don't have a lot of uh, time, and if you don't have a, like a backyard or something, Bokash is a perfect solution. So that's why as a waste lab, uh, we are like uh, here to help uh, anyone that uh, they are tackling this problem from somewhere. What is your mission? Why did you start doing this? Uh, it was actually one of our pain points. I have been living here in Dubai the past four years and we have been finding uh, ways to recycle dry waste, which is like a paper, glass and metal. And, but when it comes to organic waste, we couldn't find anything. And it's just so sad to uh, just throw everything away which we don't know where it is going, but actually it's just ending up in landfill. And we believe that uh, if we start creating communities and if we start empowering individuals, and I think we can start making an impact, positive impact on the nature. Our main goal is to achieve a closed circle. Food leftovers and other bio waste becomes a resource. Resource to fertilize the soil and our communities can become self-sustainable with growing their own veggies. You saw how you can manage bio-waste in your community. Similar concepts have already been implemented all around the world and we believe many more will join.
we will continue to play our role in developing effective and convenient treatments for food leftovers to become a resource.